In this video we're going to look at rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100 or 1000. So let's start off with a typical question and it would be round 52 to the nearest 10. So just to help us I'm going to draw a number line. So here's 50 and then 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. I'm just going to write 55 here in the middle. 56, 57, 58, 59 and 60. So here's a number line and we've been asked to round 52 to the nearest 10. So 52 is here. Okay, so 52. And what we've got to decide is we've got to decide whether 50 or 60 would represent 52 better. So we're going to think to the nearest 10. Now looking at it, 52 is much closer to 50 than it is to 60. Therefore, 50 would be the answer. So if you were asked around 52 to the nearest 10, the answer would be 50 because that's the closest 10. Okay, next, round 178 to the nearest 10. So if this was 170 at this end, and this was 180 at this end, 178 would be here. So there is 178. So to the nearest 10, well as you can see, 178 is very close to 180. So therefore, 180 is gonna be the answer. So if you were asked to ride 178 to the nearest 10, the answer would be 180. This time we're gonna round 205 to the nearest 10. So here we've got 200, and here we've got 210. And 205 is actually in the middle. So here, 205 in the middle. Actually, I just better move that arrow to the actual middle. Okay. Now, now as you can see, it's neither closer to 200 or 210. But the common rule or the common uh, practice is if the number is exactly in the middle, you round up. Okay. So if a number ends in a 5 and you're rounding it to the nearest 10, you're going to round up. Okay. So the answer would be 210. So you round down for the if the numbers if it ends in a 0 1 2 3 or 4 and if it ends in if it round up if it ends in a 5 6 7 8 or 9 okay that's whenever you're rounding to the nearest 10 okay and you've got a number on the end okay so let's have a look at some questions so we've been asked to round these to the nearest 10 so let's start off with 68 well, as the units is this 8, we're going to round up. So it's going to be rounded to 70. 71. As the units is a 1, you're going to round down. So then it's going to round down to 70 as well. 109. Because the units is a 9, you're going to round up. So it's going to become 110. 2,324. Because the units is a 4, we're going to round down. So it's going to be 2,320. 985. Because it ends in a 5, we're going to round up, so it's going to be 990. And finally, 999. Because of the units is a 9, we're going to round up. Then that would make this 9 a 10, so the 1 carries over, and then it rounds actually, then that would add on to make 10. So the answer actually is a 1000, okay? Because if you had a number line, you would have 990 and 1000. In the middle would be 995. And 999 would be there, right next to 1,000. So it would round up to 1,000 to the nearest 10. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples that have uh, decimal places. So around 56.5 to the nearest 10. So if we had 50 here and we had 60 here, we would have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 in the middle. And then 56 and 56.5 would be somewhere in here, in the middle here. Okay, so 56.5. As you can see, it's closer to 60 than it is to 50. So therefore, rounding it to the nearest 10 would be 60. Now, all you need to do is, again, look at the units part of the number. So the units part is here. Remember, it goes tens, units, temps. So the units, you just look at the units number. If it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you round down. If this number or this digit is a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you're going to round up. Let's have a look at another question. So around 113.4 to the nearest 10. So we would have 110 here, 120 here, and 111, 112, 113.4 would be somewhere here. As you can see, it's closer to 110. So the answer would be 110. Again, you could just look at the three and that tells you that you need to round down. Next, 314.9. So you'd have 310 and 320. 
311, 312, 313, 314.9. So it's going to be really close to the middle number, 315. But it's still to the left, so therefore it's still closer to 310. So if the answer would be 310. So again, looking at the units number, it's a 4, so you round down. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. So 18.7, to round this to the nearest 10, because it's an 8 in the units, we're going to round up, so it's going to be 20. 74.6, because the units is a 4, you're going to round down, so it's going to be 70. 121.3, the units is a 1, so you round down, so it'll be 120. And finally, 967.7, because in the units is a 7, that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you're going to round up, so this then would be 970.